This is Romani II, a 1995 60 foot traditional narrowboat built by Evans and Sons. She's been looked after. She was recently blacked in May 2016. The anodes were replaced. She's been regularly serviced by the owners. He had started repainting her, so the side you can see here has been repainted recently. But due to personal circumstances, he couldn't finish the job. So you'll see here on the other side, she's got her original blue colour. But actually, both sides are very presentable. But it was incompleted work. Onto the well deck, the uh, two 13 kilo gas lockers are in the gas bottles are in the locker there. Reasonable sized well deck at four feet, and down into the saloon. It's 14 feet long, this saloon, there's plenty of space. Internal headroom six foot six, so ample headroom. <clears throat> storage lockers left and right. There's storage under the well deck if you pull those stairs back. A couple of leather captain's chairs, and there's a sofa bed here as well. The cabinet opposite the sofa is wired up to take a television. There's no television on board, but it's all uh, all there to connect. Front of the boat's heated by this bubble stove, it's diesel. There's a back boiler on it, that heats the radiator in the bedroom and hot water. There's a nice little writing desk here, you can pen your letters home of extraordinary seafaring tales. Into the galley, again it's, it's good size, 10 foot 8, there's a washing machine. Good. Preparation space, they're my car keys if I lose them. You can let me know where they are. So three drawers there, there's cupboards under the stainless steel sink. And the fridge is gone. I'm not sure if it wasn't working or, uh, or if he just wanted to take it because it was quite new, but the space is there and the worktop to go over. And obviously the electrical fittings are there as well. There's a nice side hatch. More work surfaces on the other side of the galley. And three good sized cupboards. Correction, four good sized cupboards. And then a microwave with shelves under at the end. Good space in here, nice and light with the big bus style windows. They've got hopper openers on. Down through the corridor on the starboard side of the boat and into the bathroom. There's a sliding door on this boat. And there's a bath with shower over, tiled around the walls and there's a curtain screen. And a corner cabinet with a basin set in, and a Thetford cassette loo. There's actually a spare Thetford porter potty, it's in the engine room on this boat. <clears throat> so you're not short of loos. And down into the bedroom. It's huge, it's nearly 13 feet long. Standard double, lots of storage space underneath. And the space you, you feel with a room of this size at, at the foot of the bed. There's a room for chest of drawers, big wardrobe, shelves to the side. Lots of room. There's the radiator that's heated by the bubble stove. And porthole windows in here. And on into the engine room. Everything is really accessible in here. The engine's just sat there, you can tinker away without being a contortionist. The battery bank's on the left, the calorifier on the other side of the engine. There's the fuse boxes and battery management system and the three kilowatt inverter is uh, 
above the battery bank. You can just see the corner of it there. It's a BM, a uh, Beta, BU1505, that engine. So out onto the stern deck. Try and navigate the short pontoon, navigate down the gunnels, holding the camera. And that's Romany 2. For further information and a downloadable brochure, go to rugbyboats.co.uk.